guys, what's up? This is Al from It's Android's World here with another quick Android app review, but this time of a utility that's actually really, really nice to have. Right now, it's still kind of early, so the guy who actually made this very, very first application he's made, but I have to say, this is one of the best utilities I've ever seen for Android. As you guys know, Android allows you to multitask or application switch by holding down the home call button, I mean the home button, and that'll get you into this quick application switcher and you can see you can actually switch between six applications but you are limited to only six applications but that is still a nice feature to have what this application does it's called more recent right there it's a little 15 it'll actually allow you to do that same exact method except switch between 15 applications a lot more there you just tap on the shortcut on the home screen and that'll open up the new menu. You can see it right now. I only have nine applications open. Now, right now, unfortunately, you cannot enable this by holding down the home button yet. Hopefully, that will be fixed in a future upgrade, and I really, really do hope it is. But right now, it's very easy to just have that application on your desktop and just tap on it to get your application switcher. It's even quicker than actually holding down the home button. And even if you do have that open, you'll see if you long press the home key, you'll have more recent there, and you can tap on that to make a bigger list. Quick, just a really, really nice, quick little video. I'm actually going to show you guys how to get this on your phone right now because it is a really, really nice utility. Just go ahead and unplug the USB cable from the bottom of your phone and plug in the data cable that's connected to the computer. Scroll down the notification bar, tap USB connected, and hit mount and go to your computer. Okay, guys, and so now that you're at your computer, just go ahead and find wherever you downloaded the more recent.apk and just drag and drop that to the root of your SD card. It's a very small file. When you're done, just safely eject your phone from the computer and go back to it. Alright guys, now let's go ahead and unplug the USB data cable and wait for the preparing SD card logo to pop up and go away. While that's gone, let's just go ahead and launch open the market. This is the first thing you're going to want to do to allow this to install. You're going to search in Linda. Now I recommend, again, using Linda, but if you do not have Linda and you would rather use a different application installer from the market, you can do that. I, again, just personally prefer Linda File Manager. Being connected to Wi-Fi also helps. So, again, it's called Linda File Manager. You're just going to make sure that's downloaded. The other thing you're going to want to do is tap Menu and go to Settings. And then you're going to go to Applications and make sure that first box right there, Unknown Sources, is checked. You're going to need that to be checked or else this will not work. Then finally, just go home and find wherever you have the Linda app downloaded and launch that. When you're there, you're just going to tap SD card and scroll down until you find more recent.apk. Just tap on that and that'll take you into this new window. You will not get this pop up and it'll just have this screen right here. And you're just going to tap the bottom left option, which will say install, and it'll say installing. Since it's such a small file, you can see it installs in no time. Then when you tap done and you go back home, you'll see when you open up your app tray, you will indeed have more recent there. And that's pretty much it, guys. It's a really, really nice utility. Hopefully you guys liked this video. If you guys did, make sure you favorite this video or rate it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you guys follow me on Twitter. That is twitter.com slash androidsworld. And I'll see you guys later.